a show like CES, it's got to be just a, uh, a bunch of germs that are everywhere. Well, Robert, what am I holding and why would this be good to eliminate germs? Well, this is Ellie. It's a portable uh, baby bottle sanitation device. You can put a baby bottle, a nipple, a nookie into the device. Uh, it's got, uh, uses UV light, so two UV LEDs on the bottom, two UV LEDs on the top, in an aluminum chamber that will disinfect all the surfaces. So before you put a feeding bottle in your baby's mouth, you know all the germs have been killed and eliminated. And it's portable, so you can take it on the go, you can bring it to Las Vegas with you, you can take it to your mother-in-law's house, on the plane, wherever you go. It's the only port portable baby bottle disinfection device available today. I want to talk about the technology, but first let's talk a little bit more about this. So it's available today. Uh, you can buy it uh, in the marketplace, I suppose? Yeah, we just launched it on Indiegogo uh, in November as a pre-order campaign. We'll start the fulfillment in November, uh, in April and May of this year to ship the actual units to customers. And we're working with a number of different brand partners that have channels to Babies R Us and Walmart to launch their own branded versions of this device uh, later in 2017 and beginning of 2018. And what sort of price are we looking at? Uh, this is uh, MSRP suggested retail price of one hundred and twenty-nine dollars. Okay, so uh, affordable for uh, you know protecting your kids. Now, one of the things about this is that you're using ultraviolet lights. That is, is this one of the first applications where you've been able to bring it to the home? Uh, ultraviolet lights for disinfecting? Exactly. The core technology of our company, Ravio, is around the UV LED light sources themselves. UV is a long established technology, more than 100 years of use in disinfecting in hospitals and other applications, mainly from glass tubes filled with mercury that generate UV light. So we bring this into the semiconductor era, getting rid of a mercury filled light bulb going into a solid state semiconductor light source that's compact, small size, instant on, that does the disinfection, just like computer chips have revolutionized, uh, you know, or semiconductor chips have revolutionized computing, uh, radio chips have revolutionized cell phones, LED, visible LED has revolutionized lighting. We're bringing this semiconductor technology into health and hygiene applications. We call it a microchip of health. So uh, this microchip of health, where do you see it being extended to next beyond Ellie? So uh, Ellie for, as I mentioned, surface disinfection for baby bottles, but you can also use it for things like your iPhone. Just put your iPhone in the chamber to disinfect the surface of your iPhone or toys. Uh, for example, another product we have here is a water bottle that you just fill with water, push a button. In 60 seconds, the water is disinfected, safe to use, safe to drink. We're launching that in China and India. We're also working with partners in Kenya to launch it into Sub-Saharan Africa and, Latin, and other partners in Latin America. 3.4 million people die every year from drinking infected water, primarily children. And this is USB chargeable. It can be solar powered. You can use it in off-grid application where you don't have any electricity and keep your children safe from dying. That's amazing. No carbon filtering or anything. So it just all you need is the sun and a little electricity to keep it going. Huh? Well, you need you need water that's relatively safe, uh, relatively clean. It will not disinfect, for instance, sewer water or like okay. uh, water from a mud pile. Sure. But even in you know, if you look in villages, off-grid villages in Ethiopia or Kenya or other parts of Africa. They generally get clean water, you know, from maybe a central distribution site, but then they'll maybe carry it five or ten miles and then put it in a concrete uh, tank, and you don't know what's growing in that tank. And so they dump it in there. And so this, uh, it, it doesn't have, you know, a lot of, like, solid waste or, you know, it's not sewer water, but it has algae or other things growing in it. So this allows all those microbes to be killed which is what gives you diarrhea, makes you sick, gives you, you know, other diseases, and kills your children. Wow, that's remarkable. It's life-saving. And where do you see it in some of the other bigger industrial applications? We're talking about hospitals, for instance. Yeah, so we're working a lot with partners in the healthcare industry to do disinfection of everything from catheters or uh, stethoscopes, uh, doctors and nurses, iPhones and iPads, keyboards. You think, you know, a doctor or nurse goes up, treats a patient, they have an infectious disease, they type, type something on their iPad, and then even if they wash their hands, which they don't, uh, and then they go to the next patient, they touch their iPad, they've just infected their hands again. So the ability to disinfect really everything in the hospital environment from buttons and all the way up to whole room disinfection. We can actually, with our technology today, at the price points we're at, 
do an entire hospital room, kill 99.9% .9 of the germs on all the surfaces in 15 minutes. And that price will come down over time, just like every semiconductor technology. That's incredible, and one of the things we talked about, kind of a far-off service, but still it, maybe not so far off, that, you know, this whole idea of you know, ride-sharing and people using multiple cars, being able to clean the air and clean the surfaces in cars, and especially as they go autonomous. Yeah, and automotive air is a great application for us because in an automobile, the air is frequently recycled, and so it's an enclosed environment. So particularly you think of somebody stuck in, for instance, in Beijing traffic jam for an hour and a half, the whole idea of being able to disinfect the air as it's being recirculated through the car is an application that we're, we're ready for today, as well as doing automotive interiors. Because, you know, most people, unless they, even if you go to the car wash, you may wash the interior, but how often do you disinfect the interior of your car? Your kids are getting food and sticky stuff all over the place. And so being able to do automotive interior applications is another, another application that we're interested in. It's really about surface, water, and air. Excellent. Well, I've learned a lot here, and I have one more question. Can I fit my microphone in here before I leave? <laughs> you can. You can. Okay. And certainly in Vegas, disinfection is a big theme here. So. Excellent. Robert, thank Great. you. Great. Thank you very much.